Playoff time and baseball season is coming to an end soon. The Lady Griffins, they're headed back down south. The fellas, they kicked off round one with Kaplan. I had to pull up and check out Nephew and the squad. Kaplan kicked off the first frame with some action. They put up three runs in the top. That's when Caleb started rolling and he struck out three straight. And the fans are great, man. Last night we had a, you know, first time ever had a baseball and softball playoff game start at the exact same time, man. It was packed. Uh, people everywhere, and then, you know, had rain today. Um, we had to push the game back to 4:45. People still came out, man. The fans are great here; they support us, so uh, we greatly appreciate it. The back started banging for the Griffins in the bottom. Everybody eating, and I mean everybody. One through six, put bat on ball. Man, we've been having some very good BP rounds, and uh, you know we've been hitting the ball well here the last few games. And you know, I think we had nine or ten hits last night. And I'm not sure how many we had tonight, but I know it was you know double digits. And uh, we're able to get the bunt down. When you're able to get the bunt down, that helps a lot. Put up a five spot in the bottom across the way to Lady Griffins. Three straight bombs, so you know it's real. Kaplan, they would finally get out of a jam. McFerrin and Caleb, they made plays in the infield. As for Rainey Mason, he did a job. Was, man, we pitched the ball well. Uh, Caleb uh, Rolls came out last night and threw six innings for us. Uh, you know, he's been kind of shaky the last couple of starts, but he, he threw the ball well last night. The softball squad, they had both fields jumping. Tristan Hopper on that same type of time. That's a double off the wall. He's feeling good. Brian LaCour, he puts one over the fence. That's four on the season. Kaplan would add a solo in the next frame. But every time Kaplan tried to get something going, DeSoto, they put an end to it. McFerrin flashing the leather. Smooth criminal with the slide. Then I was getting some footage for Granny. She said, make sure you get my baby. Rainy snagged a solo double, that's tough. Caleb Carter would finish this one off. T-hop on the bump in game two. Let's get right to it. T-hop throwing K's, he was ready. So was Granny, she pulled up for the action. And then, you know, Hopper comes out and throws. I think he had six innings, 67, 70 pitches, so he was able to throw his off speed for a strike early in the count. So, and then we, you know, we hit the ball very well this weekend. I missed the first three runs. DeSoto up one, Rainey single down the line. Then he borrowed a bag, feeling good. See me, Granny? Then Braden lays his burdens down the third baseline. Rainey was scoring a fastball. The first game was closer than the second. Brian LaCour, he makes it five homers on the season. He ties Big Rainey. The Griffins, they sweep Captain. And they're moving on to the next round. Now, you know, the kids aren't going to be shocked at what we got to go do. We've been on the road before. We were on the road last year. 
Uh, so, you know, they'll be ready. I mean, all everybody we got has pitched in, in the situation before. Uh, but, uh, you know, we did lose those seven last year with these guys that stepped up. It's a fun team, man. I really like it.